there's this concept of neural habituation mm. and I'll, I'll phrase it in the in the geeky scientific language first that a neuron or set of neurons exposed to the same stimulus will have a reduced response output over time mm. that sounds really boring basically with if the same thing happens over and over again you'll get bored of it yeah. yeah you can get bored of it that's it and it, it's <laughs> built in it's locked into yeah how your body physiology works mm. when we're on our phones we can get uh, kind of addicted to kind of stuck into that mm. like stimulation yeah but even when you get hungry enough even yeah. that you can put that down so something takes over them yeah uh, yeah because now the novelty the signal for mm. the hunger has grown so big mm. it is now a new novel stimulus in the environment which okay. is overpowered yeah. you looking at your phone and this is quite interesting as it ties back into how much control we then have or mm. try to take in a situation mm. because if you're constantly just pinballing around mm. stimulus to stimulus mm. then you start to divest and give away your choice in the matter yeah interesting that's where meditation wellness doing things where you take a moment just to turn it off and have a bit more control between mm. the stimulus and the response that's where you get to be you well that's when the road to of excess leads to the palace of wisdom right, okay, Great right. quote. Oh, um, yeah. when you sort of realize those bad habits and you can have too much of a bad thing yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that kind of excess doesn't lead to palace of wisdom but i think given enough time and a certain human nature you will probably come out of those uh, rots. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah.